Hey there, welcome back guys. In this video we're going to show you how to fix your arrows. That's right, bullseye right over there. But sometimes you don't always get the bullseye because either the veins are off uh, or they fall off or your, your, um, your point, your, your, your arrow point just isn't what it used to be. So, so what we're going to do is without any further ado, um, let's get started. We're going to show you here. These are the arrows and we got new, this one has a new tip on. Um, we put on, we only had one left for the Easton uh, and the other ones were actually done a little bit differently. We can see here, we've got there and here, but I'll show you the other ones. One second, let me go get them. So the newer veins are a little bit different as you can see. Um, that's the new point and these are the new veins that are put on. It works really well. I only had one set left of these, but let's see how they shoot. Anyway, so uh, in case you're wondering, these are the newer ones that we just made. So let's check them out. Let's see. Close. A little bit off. Let's see. Sweet, still works like a, whoops, like a charm. Watch your stuff. Never trip over um, the line when your line is loaded. Um, but come, without any further ado, let's get started. Let's fix these. Uh, this one looks like it needs a little bit more glue. If you have a look over here, even though we got the bullseye, um, we lost the vein. Oh wow, interesting. Um, so this one could have used a little more glue. As you saw, we still managed to get the bullseye, but the vein flew off before it was too late. So sometimes you can apply too little glue or maybe too much glue. In this case, as you saw, it's probably too little glue. All right, so let's get started. So here's a list of everything we're gonna be needing. We have this tool to help us push the arrow in um, as it's being heated, right? And the wax, which we'll put on, um, I'll, I'm going to show you step by step how each one's done. But we just did 10 arrows, which is great. These are all done and ready to go. As you can see, these are the new ones. And this is um, some of them I just replaced uh, one. Um, this is all needed to be. Here go the old tips, as you can see. Um, they're just, uh, this is when the, when, whenever we go to the range with the, with the girls, um, when they miss, when you miss in, in the woods, you're, you know, you're going to hit rocks and things like that. But when you miss at home, you're just going to hit the bale of hay and maybe the shed, you know, and these are the new tips. See, nice and beautiful. Um, so the, these are ready to go. And as you can see, here's another tip, another one waiting for us. See, and this one is just drying. Uh, and when you're done and ready to go, you know, you just uh, put it here like that. I'm going to open that up. And this one should be. ready to launch and take off. See that? And uh, we'll just put it on the balancer so that you guys can see. Voila. And um, that's what that tool, this tool is used for. Um, I'll show you in the video. So anyway, oh, and also we'll need the uh, blowtorch if you have one of these, or you can do it over your kitchen stove. I did it over my stove a couple of times before I got this, but Anyway, without any further ado, let's get started so you guys can get back to shooting in no time. Okay, so we got these from Lens Archery and Target Shop in Glenrock. Really amazing tools that Len provided for us. Um, so what we're actually going to do is we're going to change one, but I actually have um, five arrows that need to be um, redone because their tips are just um, pretty much shot. Um, so we're going to redo one, and then when we're done, we'll show you the rest. We'll just... Um, so what you want to do is basically scrape off. Um, you can move this out of the way. The little scraper tool to get the remnants of the old. Um, see, just take that off. It looks easy, but these are the veins. Um, uh, this part is easy, but then you have to scrape the rest of it. See, let's get that all that off. Um, you know, it, cosmetically, the arrow is going to get lose some of its paint 
that's okay. They will still work as good as new once everything is set up. Um, and so next what we're going to do is we're going to get the blowtorch to heat this up um, because as you can see the tip is pretty much shot. Um, but inside here is wax that's helping it stay put together. All right. So knowing that and moving forward, let's um, uh, light up the blowtorch to get some heat going so that we can um, just heat it up. You might have to use gloves. Usually around sunset is an ideal time to do this too because um, you can see the, where the flame is. You can feel when it's getting hot, but ideally, you know, you want to see your flame, uh, but you can't. But I know exactly how big this flame actually gets. I'm not worried. And once it gets hot enough, whoops. And then what we want to do is use this tool, all right, to take out the head. So you just press down on it and you should get lucky. All right, but you don't want to, you don't want to, um, bend the tip. And remember, it's hot the closer you are to the edge. Um, so it looks like it could use a little bit more heat. That's okay. So the, hard, the easiest part was done with the um, vein, removing the vein. But the hardest part is this part right here, getting the tip off uh, relatively easy, but you got to be really fast. And oh, I could see it popped off a little bit. Nice. Like there was just um, some, it moved a little bit at the tip, which was without even touching it, which meant that um, it was released a little bit. Now press it there. Remember, avoid. See how easily it comes out? Voila. Wow. Too bad you can't sharpen the tips. Remember, avoid the edge. Don't touch it because it's hot. Okay, so let's do maybe. Um, maybe four. Okay, so we'll get this one here. We'll heat up a few. Um, I have my creme brulee uh, thingy right over here. Actually, it's the Euro kitchen from uh, when we used to throw parties. And as you can see, oops, you know, it'll come off really easily. Oh, I can see it. You can see it releasing from the tip, like it's just pushing out, which is great. That means that it is ready. And you gotta be fast. Like, see how it pushed out a little bit from the top? Hopefully you get to it in time with this tool right here. Whoops. Look at that, that one came off really easily. Nice, that one for sure, this will have to cool off. Um, and then we'll do one more, maybe two more. Well, actually, we can just do them all. I'm going to clean them up so that they'll be good and ready to go. So I'll just scrape them off. Remember, watch the other end because it is hot, this end right over here. So avoid anything that could be on the other side, like plastic. See the plastic right there? Avoid touching anything, including your hand. Okay. And then we'll just scrape that. Okay. All right, so we got four more to go. One, two, three, four. You know, I'm just a little bit sketchy about the other one. All right, knowing that and moving forward. I mean, you could do this, right? Like heat it, put it right there on the tip. And then, um, and then we're not going to have wax on the end of it, on the edge of it, right? So what we can do is that. Let it get hot all the way around. Ah, oh, I felt the heat coming back off the edge. So now that means it's ready. See? Nice. And then, move that there. Whoops. As you can see, it's stuck, but you gotta be really fast because. Voila. One thing I did find that was convenient that when the glue is warm, right? Oops. When it's hot, 
not so hot where you can't touch it, but just, you know, fresh, um, as soon as you push it in, it, and as long as your cloth is wet, it's so much easier to just wipe it right off. Like, look at that, compared to before, uh, which you'll see later on where I scrape it off, but actually look at that. Big difference, right? You'll see how easy it is to just wipe it, right? And to scrape it, as long as this is wet, because remember, that's hot. Um, and when it's hot, you can burn yourself. So, to avoid burning yourself, wet, and then spin and wipe. Just some cleaning solution um, that I use for my bike, my aluminum bike. Um, and then, as you can see, you just wipe it, clean off any remnants of goop and gook. There's one, right? There's two. See? Nice, and look at that. Nice little scratch, but that's okay. We can live with the scratches. And here's three. So you just need three. So the first two will be, let's say, red, and or vice versa, you decide, and the other two will be, let's say, black, okay? Oh, the one, sorry, one will be black. So we have one, right? And then we have two. And then the next one will be black, okay? That's the one that you put in your... So now, what you want to do is open this, push this in like this. I mean, I'm going to push. Push it and then turn it. See that? So push it and then turn it. So push it, but since it was already, you know, See, that locks it. Now it's going to open. And so what we'll do is you have to make sure that everything is loose like that. See that? And this one. There we go. Okay. I don't know why that did that, but it's working now. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one. Make sure you put them in properly because um, you don't. So let's say the odd color which is right there, we'll go here. See that? And then the uh, red, the two reds are gonna go here. So we have one red. Make sure you, you, you see them in properly, okay? You don't wanna mess this up. I mean, you could mess it up and see and just put them in like that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the glue in. So before we put the glue in, take one arrow and then it just goes in like that. See, it knows where. It's like a little thing for the, for the knock to lock in. See, the knock locked in. Let's see that popped out. So, there we go. See? Now, you take your glue. Um, make sure that's aligned. Make sure that's aligned. And now, we open up the glue. Right? See? Um, and then we're going to apply some glue inside. So we'll put some here. Hopefully it lets us. Yep, I see it squeezing out. Just run it along. You're going to have to push it back down because you saw it moved. So that. And then just do that. It'll be fast because. We don't want it to dry. We want it to dry on the arrow. And then, and if you're not fast enough, that's okay. You can um, do one at a time, right? It's going to spread when you, um, as soon as you close it anyway. So don't worry about spreading it. See? Some there. I didn't really get enough on there. There, got it. Now push it down. Make sure the make sure they're all in there. It's right in their proper position. Looks like they are. And then now we can remember the knock is in its place. Oops. You can't mess it up because um 
it's being held. And then you just put this part in from the top. See? And then now they are in their proper position. And then what we can do is we can lock it. All right. Push it in. Or not, just leave it like that. That's fine. Ideally, it would be nice if we could lock it, but. Let's see if we can. See? Like that. The pressure. It's a little bit tricky, to be honest with you. And then just, you know, everything should just fall into its place. And now we just wait. Um, and then we can check this one. Just balance it. See how well it balances. Okay. Put this here. This one is a little tricky, I have to say. Um, so now we push it in. I think that had plenty of time to adhere. And then we take this, take it off. In the perfect world, it should, you know, be good and ready to go. Look at that one, two, they're all evenly applied. A little bit wet. I could see how one almost, uh, in the beginning, it was hard to take this thing, open it, because there was glue. Look at that. So we'll just let it dry, keep it here. Nice and balanced. Um, and then we'll wait. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. You don't need to watch all of them, but now you see how it's done, right? You can see. Kind of neat, huh? Uh, and then you just do the same, repeat the same steps over again. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you in better understanding how to fix your tips and the veins to the uh, back of your arrow so that you too can get shooting again with your bow. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Okay, so we're at the rain and here, um, right now we might be, we have, um, we should go out this range because our bows won't go that far. Maybe, so we'll, we'll see. Here, step back. We'll okay. See. You can share. Yeah, I'm you can very see. good. No, no, no. Oh, you want to Okay, sure. She's got some, like, 11 bullseyes, so. Yeah, the bows may not go this far because they, uh, ooh, oh, they do actually. That's okay. Oh, look. Here. Stay focused. Ooh, oh my god. Yes! <laughs> she got the target. She got milk. What'd she get it? Oh yeah, pretty good, Ivy. That's okay, 10 that yards. Is gross. Why is it gross? Yeah, okay, that is a real plastic dog. Oh god. Oh! Here, tell them about the range, though. Okay, so there's these, it's not just this you have to do. There's a path over there. Here, let me show you. And can Sam borrow our bow and arrow? Because he doesn't That's pretty good. She's still he got... He the wood! <laughs> not you the wood! <laughs> A little more right. Okay, try now. <laughs> it's pretty good. Pretty good. So yeah. What was that? Want to try Yeah, we can go to another range. Yeah, we're gonna show you the other range. Yeah, let's go. So we're gonna be going in the next range. Let's go show. One to twenty-nine or two ranges, like levels. Yeah. Oh, here comes the dead deer. It's not a real deer. It's dead. My dad just <laughs> told me that. There are your rules. Deer in the milk box. <laughs> here, you want to try it? Yeah. Wait, let's first show where the deer. Oh, yeah, there's the deer.
You got the ball. She got the hay. That's pretty good. Yeah. What? I see, I see. Don't okay, okay. Hopefully, this is the target. So we're looking for the arrow. Oh yeah. All right. I see it. Wow. Good eye. Wow. I would have never found it. The problem is the arrows are expensive. She got the raccoon. Now I'm gonna eat it for dinner. Let's see. Yeah. I hit its nose. So it can't breathe anymore. Oh, I see. Oh, pretty cool. Or you can do the laundry and use OxyClean. Oh, wait, I put the laundry. <laughs> Here. Okay, so we're at level three now. As you can see, level three. Okay, here. There's a sign. Over here. Oh yeah, course three. Yeah. So your target's up there. So, um, the thing is, it goes from um one to twenty-nine. And one more thing. Um, you need to bring your own archery things because there's only our leftover hours here and stuff like that. Okay, so we just got back from the archery place because we went up to um, a few actually. Yeah, I think level four? I don't know. And then we went to 28, 27, and 26. Yes, we shot a deer. Don't worry, these are like not real. The foam, actually. Yes. Um, to be correct. Um, we shot, I think, a deer, a crow, a goose. Oh wait, a, not a goose, a turkey. Um, what else? I think we shot some like um, um, cans, like milk cartons, and all that. Yes, that was the first thing we saw. I think yeah. So, and now we're back in the car. And now we're heading back. So. Um, a guy told us that it took like a, a hour to go around the, and do all the levels, which is cool. Yeah, it's really cool. And they also told us that um, with, that once you get more advanced, you get to choose your own bow, like really advanced and technique. But well, we gotta go since our dad's phone actually died. So it should be charging though. So. Well, yeah. yeah. Sometimes it dies. Yeah, it should be charging. Yeah, so we're heading back. So maybe next time I'll see you guys. Bye. Bye.